Mike Kubinski from Cleveland Coping. Now, Woo what's up, Mike? Welcome, Mike. Welcome. I love your Hi. stuff. Oh, thank you. you. I love your stuff. <laughs> I just have an issue. <laughs> <laughs> in the way. I just have an issue with how old I look. Is that really me? <laughs> I apologize for that. It wasn't me doing that. I'll, I'll tell my graphic designer, but Do I don't I think really you look that old. old. It's just, it's you, a, no, it's a caricature. A graphic designer, I think he did So well. caricature, <laughs> because caricatures, um, they, they hone be in on distinct <laughs> characteristics, right. obviously, and then they accentuate them. <laughs> for the love of God, I look 90. <laughs> so right. I must really look like <laughs> a caricature <laughs> artist. I mean, because I think everybody else is dead on. <laughs> but I just... Yeah. So I got that That's out awesome. of the way, That's but awesome. I love so, the design. So you and, wanted a salt and, the, and pepper look. Oh God, I'm just all salt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, am I that gray? I don't. Yeah, you are. I mean, my sidewalls. No, are you're gray. not that gray. You're not that. That's like white. You're. you're we you're, could have added a, a little more dark, salt. a little more shading. It's salt and pepper. So in for there. version 2.0, we can have more pepper yes. than salt. Well, yes. Well, I'll have you know that I look I'm dead on. That's, that is me, 1,000%. It is nice to be Listen, you guys look so good. That's what makes me even more angry. I'm like, what the hell did I ever do to clean the clothing company? Where they, he made everybody else in the picture look great. Even Bull, who does tend to have Beavis and Butthead teeth there. If you look closely at it, it looks uh, he's got a little like Beavis and Butthead look to him. And little T-Rex arms. And And... <laughs> but it looks like bull. Yeah. Well. But you know what? They did get. They did get some. They did give me some bicep love. So I'm. I yeah. didn't, I'm just now noticing that. So that's cool. My daughter, <laughs> Ava, is so mad. I'm not on the shirt. I'm like, honey, I wasn't part of the show when they designed it. She's I like, know. It doesn't matter. You should be on it. Like, well, we, I, what do you want me to do? We, I wasn't part could, of we'll the show. We'll have to do an add on. Shirt and hand draw you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mike, do a little in add on. Seriousness. I, that, that we got the nonsense out of the way. Yeah. I love your designs. I love your, first of all, the commitment to Cleveland. We are the, I think we're the t-shirt capital of the world. We have to be, right? It seems How like that, yeah. How did this whole thing for you get started? Um, I was actually just kind of bored. Um, so I'm a graphic designer, right. and I was a junior designer at the time, and I was doing package design, so like the bo backs of bottles and labels. and uh, So I was doing a lot of black and white precautions, directions, and I needed a creative outlet. So this, you know, just kind of was born out of that. There wasn't really anything like this at the time before we were the t-shirt capital of the world. You guys <laughs> kind of forged the way, didn't you? Kind of. Well, we, we have to talk about Daffy Dan first. Like he that's forged true. the yeah. way for all of us. Yeah, that's no, that's true. But uh, yeah, so we we're kind of like the, the renaissance of Daffy Dan. Do you have a favorite shirt that you've designed? Because there's been so many of them. Do you have yeah. one that you just stands out to you? Um, I always like our fake surf club, the Burning River Surf Club, yeah. which <laughs> it, after designing it, I found out there are lakes, Lake Erie surfers and really it is are. a real thing. So yeah, um, yeah, that was always, that was fun to do and make Cleveland a, a tropical place. I, and Jason's wearing one of my other favorite designs is vacation in Cleveland. And yeah, that is so a good one too. It's a really good one. I like the Cleveland's not so bad. Have a beer. Yeah, <laughs> you have a lot of their. You, you wear a lot of it. Yeah. He always yeah. says that that's his favorite. I love that one. All it those, is good. all those were born around the same time. Like we were getting a lot of hate from the national press, and so we came up with vacation in Cleveland. Um, Cleveland is not so bad. Have a beer. <laughs> that was out of a, a Forbes like rated us like the 42nd worst city at the time, but then someone else rated it as the best place for micro brews. So put those together. It's not that bad. Come have a beer, have a good time. That's and see what Cleveland's really about. And no, that's actually yeah. really creative. <laughs> I, I like that. You got any big projects coming up? What's the what's the latest thing that you that you about to release that we can pick up? Um I mean we're we're planning a lot for the year right now. Um, we just launched like our 216 design for mm. a 216 day in February. You know, that, you know, cause you know, that's my birthday. <laughs> Shout out to me. That oh, is really nice. smart though. That February, February 16th, 16th it's, it's my birthday. It, it should be a massive day in Cleveland. It is. Year. I was born. <laughs> like how bigger can it get? Okay, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have a stogie that day. Uh, no, it is. It really is cool. Like it's, Everybody looks at their area code, you know, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. If you're Mr. 305 or we've yep. got 216 that we love to rep and 440 doesn't get much love. <laughs> we've uh, tried and, to make a fake day. And there's not and an April 40th, so there's no. never going to be a 440 day, but the 216 day, we love any excuse to throw a party. Yeah. And I think 216 
should be a day where all city workers get off. I agree. And most employers should look at it and I say, would agree. Yeah. we'll and, give you that day off. And then you tip, and, you raise the cup and say, shout out Tyvis Powell. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ty. <laughs> Happy agree. birthday. So what is the 216, what is that going to look like? Uh, so that? it's it's number is 216, but the yep. middle, the one is actually the terminal tower. Beautiful. Um, so we've launched that already. So you could order it now and then get it to wear on 216 rather than what we've done in the past is launch it on 216 day and you can't wear it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's there. You can, you can celebrate. and. Um, How difficult is it for you guys to get, um, to get right? Because I know that. That is a great uh, question. Uh, the, the, I've, the industry is wildly creative when mm -hmm. it comes to doing brown spins mm -hmm. and guardian spins by using the colors, which nobody yeah. can trademark. Um, and it's clearly, if you look at it, oh, that's a brown shirt, but nowhere does it say it or do you have the logo? So what, what goes into that process? It's getting creative with you know things that go on or like events that have happened either in the past or current like being timely with your tees so if something happens in the game someone says something just do you do that and people kind of latch on to it um, we look at a lot of history and um, just kind of do what we are as Browns fans or or sports fans in Cleveland which is very tough sometimes and we're very <laughs> diehard and um, it's not it's about the experience and not really maybe about a certain team or Thing like that like so where do people go if they want to look at your entire inventory your catalog what's how do they do that uh, you can go on our website at clevelandclothing.com or visit um <coughs> we have four stores around cleveland one downtown on east 4th street mm -hmm. uh we're at crocker park in westlake um shaker heights um in the van aiken district and then we also have an akron store in summit mall i always feel bad going into the store on 4th street because i like to i like to like hold mm -hmm. the shirt and look at it yeah see what the sizing and everything but I can never fold them as perfectly as you can. <laughs> everything is in there like my mom board. did it. You know, yeah. everything is just perfectly folded. And I always I always wreck all that up. So I feel <laughs> bad when I go that's through okay. there and that's start digging through shirts. You're a shopper. It happens every day. <laughs> there's, it's hard to fold t-shirts, but somehow you guys like have your own system that you've patented that every shirt looks perfect. It's very good training. Yeah, and practice. So. <laughs> I'll have you know, I you're never going to believe this, like 60 pounds ago, I worked at Abercrombie in college <laughs> and got a lot of practice at folding those t-shirts <laughs> with those folding boards, putting those boards in there. Oh yeah. And Make folding it look them good. perfectly and crisp. And yep. So there is an got. art to it because I get them out of the dryer and I'm looking at it like, I guess I can fold this Crumple it. the <laughs> arms in <laughs> and then fold it in half. But now it's too wide. It's not going to fit anywhere. Yeah. So then I, I typically just fold it in half again and stick it someplace. Sure, <laughs> I'm not thing. very good at that. I think I do the same thing. It's yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it's like folding technique. underwear. It's like, come on, <laughs> you know, there's nothing to it. Um, the project you regret the most. There's got to be one that you made and you're like, well, that didn't go over. Um, it's not really regret. I don't know. We did one where it was a Browns theme design and it was the cycle or something like that. And so it's just oh, like, yeah. you know, start of the season and it's like, like excitement. And then oh, we've talked about it. Quarter, yeah. yeah. Quarterback goes down, you know, coaching, you know, then, you know, you just go through, it's like first loss and like all of that and go around and it's like end of the season, like coaching change, GM change and just keeps cycling, cycling. I misspelled a word in it once and I was like, oh, oh no, and it made it to print. <laughs> wow. And it went to print. So oh, people who have that, oh. the whatever hundred people that actually have that d design. So that's a collector's know. item. Cause yeah. what, what, you just trashed all of them then? No, they sold. And then someone's pointed out that you have an extra letter right here. <laughs> oh, I was wow. like, sorry, I didn't do yes. oh my God. So if you have The proofreading those, department was not there that day. Yeah. So. Um, I, we were talking about that last week. I always called it like the, the, the delusional week. Like, so on Sunday, you get, you get blown out. <laughs> yes. Team that you thought you could win. Wait, Monday, you don't want to hear the word Browns. Right. There will be nobody bringing up the game around me or there's going to be hands thrown. <laughs> and then Tuesday... You're a little better, but you still don't want to talk about it. Then Wednesday, you're like, who do we play Sunday? <laughs> and then Thursday, you're looking at it saying, the Patriots? Well, that Brady hasn't been good the last three weeks. <laughs> I mean, we could if, we, you know, hey. And then by Friday, yeah. you're like, we got this. Yeah, we got Saturday, chance. you're partying because you know it's going to be a win. And then Sunday, the whole cycle goes back and you're like, I'm done with this why team did I do this? forever. <laughs> yeah, why am I putting myself through this? Have you ever made a shirt that, like one of the professional teams have reached out to you about in a good or bad way? Um, 
Not they don't really. want to work with you because no. it's taking money out of their pocket. <laughs> what about athletes? Has an athlete ever come to you and said, I want to do a design? Oh, yeah. We've worked with Bernie Kozar, um, Rocky Calavito. Who's... Do you have Bernie's Last Play? Is that you yes, guys? Yes, that was that one, yeah. Uh, I have that shirt. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Like, he literally drew up the last play he ever had in Cleveland. He drew it up, basically. Yeah, we've worked with Steve Miocic um, and a few other players. Yeah, That's Mark awesome. Price. How fun, what one. is that process like? Like, working with Bernie, what was that like? Um... It was actually pretty easy. I mean, we just, like, he came and was like, I, why don't we do my last play? Like, here it is. He, like, handed me the piece of paper, and, like, and we just drew it up and That's presented great. it to him. And he was, What's your best seller? Um, probably, like, our logo tees. Yeah. So it's the uh, guitar pick with the crossbones and CLE in it. Um, mm -hmm. That's been top. And who came up with that? Because I think that perfectly encapsulates Cleveland. Yeah, um, I did in really? 2010, 2009. That's yeah. awesome. Wow. Um, it went from a guitar pick, and then we asked we added the crossbones for toughness and grittiness of the city and its people and um it's it just become an icon and yeah it, it definitely yeah. works mike um our shirts i'm sure just sold like hot, hot cakes everybody had to have old j on their shirt <laughs> everyone needed an old j g bush's family his entire family all the way back in georgia or north carolina wherever it was uh bought them a ton of them. So, yeah, they, they did pretty well. Yeah, I'm sure. And they're we, still selling. I sent someone yeah. a link for the T-shirts this weekend. So. Okay, very good. I like the uh, – I love the, the, the logo design. I know you have them there. The black yeah. with the sort of neon um, outline of the city logo. I, I love that one. I think that one's really, really cool. And um, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for the having me. The website again. Give the address uh, one more Clevelandclothing.com. Cleve How can you forget it's that? It's pretty Clevelandclothing.com. Yeah. Four locations throughout the city. Um I, I'm guessing 75% of Cleveland has at least one of your shirts. I see them We're everywhere. We're I'm going more and over. I, it might be over. It might be over. Um, and if you're a Coaches Tier member, you get discount codes at Cleveland Clothing Company. The merch code for the 10% off is on our community tab page on YouTube under the Members Only Coaches tab. So Membership have it, has its privileges. Has its perks. Has um, perks. Can you imagine what it will be like when well i can ask you firsthand what was your biggest seller after the Cavs won the championship mm. um i mean we made a championship shirt right a theme shirt yeah um and yeah that was it was just it went nuts didn't crazy it? like we did close down for two hours so that our team could go to the parade and experience that right and everyone like east fourth was actually empty during right. that time. no one was um, there so it was actually good um but yeah, that was so. A, when these teams are day. good, it's good for your business for sure. Yeah, like all any events downtown, like yeah, East Fourth is always packed, and we're we're excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I, I love your location. It's in the yeah. heart of everything. Yeah. And whenever there's a big crowd down there, and I go into the store, it's there's way more people in there than uh, there are workers. So I know it could get a little overwhelming <laughs> yeah. for you guys, but you do a great job. Mike, thanks very much. Thank for you coming so in. much. We yeah. appreciate it. ClevelandClothingCompany.com. Check out their inventory. Their whole catalog is there. Um, if you don't, if you're one of the minority in Cleveland that, that you don't have one of these shirts, mm. get one. Be part of the in crowd. I wear them all Ivis the time. I have many. <laughs> I wear them all the time. I know you do. You love them. You, you definitely And Mike it. brought some swag for us, so we'll pass those out. Hey, uh, Wonderful. Anthony, you want to pass them out real quick? Or Earl, you want to pass them out real quick? We got some shirts. Mike's going to pass them out. Uh, awesome. Earl's going to pass them out. Mike, thank you for bringing in that. I got to suck my gut in. No problem. Those. Thank you. I got to Yeah, we'll wear them probably yeah, on air. Cut a wow. sponsorship deal with you guys. He just wears them. He's got an NIL deal with them for <laughs> yeah. sure. I, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I think they should do a Jason Lloyd shirt. <laughs> they because he's no. been no. such a loyal customer. Me and Jason customer. weren't on the original. So, just saying. They, they can put a chicken nugget on any shirt. So, version 2.0 is. What do you think? I'm extra large. I'm an L. Large and in charge. And, and that doesn't stand for loss. That stands for large. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're well, a Mike asked what sizes I'm we need. I'm just saying I'm an L. <laughs> I thought Bull and G were going to be here. That's I didn't, me thinking you I didn't want to I didn't want a mistake. Oh, wow, I do not have this one. So that's that's outstanding. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah. I like the design, too. I got that one. That's I think, my favorite I think one. Jay, <laughs> so yeah, that one's swaggy. I like this, that one a lot. I, You've worn this before. I think I had it on yesterday. And I've actually. seen it, and I'm like, I don't have that. I've got to get that. So now <laughs> here it is. Huh. Yesterday. That's awesome. And I've got two of those. I've got three of those. I've got them in all different colors. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. The script Cleveland is just, uh, nice. you can't go wrong with that. Thank you. thank you very much, Mike. We yes, appreciate thank it. You. Yeah, thank, thank you. Mike, as you leave, I'm not sure if you saw, but your guy's script, Cleveland Clothing Company script, is in the front of the table right there. I see, yeah. We have incorporated you guys fully into the UCSS family. You bet. And we appreciate it. Mike, thanks. Thank for you. For all you've done. The yep. shirts are great. I kid about me looking 90. I must really look that way because everybody else to me is right on point. So I must really look like I'm 
90 years old, and I apologize. For I hate that. to break it to you. Dude. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bro. <laughs> you've got a job. If this thing falls through, you've got a job waiting for you. That's well done. I thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah.